Hey guys, so today I have a mean of 3 on the Mega Minx. This mean was a 1 minute and 35 second mean, and I think that's pretty good for me. And I'm really happy I got it on camera. I haven't sold Mega Minx in ages, so I was pretty impressed with this meme that I got. But, I have a few topics or things I'm going to talk about in this video. So, I'll just get right to it. First things first is new layout. YouTube forced me into using the new layout, which I'm pretty upset about because I do not like the layout. I overall think that the old layout was a more clean look. And, but, you know, I was forced into this new layout, and I'm pretty sure everybody in YouTube now is forced into using the new layout. So there's really nothing I can do about but I'm really upset because I had a really sick background that OD900 made for me. And now I can't use it because of this new layout. So, I'm pretty upset about that because I really like that background. It was awesome. So... Another thing that I would like to talk about is what I've been like working on lately because I've been starting a lot of new projects, I guess you could call them, but I've been starting to learn 4LLL, which is a Max um, Megaminx last layer um, advanced method, and I currently use beginner's method for last layer on Megaminx, but I feel like if I learn 4LLL, it'll help me improve and get faster. So I am currently learning that, as well as full OLL. Um, I haven't really started that, but I'm planning on starting that. So I just finished my first solve. It was a 136.23. Anyway, another thing I'm working on is blind solving. It's pretty, probably one of the hardest things I've learned so far because I feel like it's a very different concept than just learning a puzzle with your eyes open I guess you could say but it is pretty difficult and I'm struggling a lot with it but I feel once I understand the concepts better that it'll become easier for me then also for 6x6 I'm trying to become sub 4 on that I currently am sub 4 however not consistently and when I say sub 4 I mean every single one of my solves I want to be sub 4 so no more over 4 minute solves for me but I still have to work a little bit on that because I do get four minute above 4 minute solves and then for 7x7 seven seven, I want to be sub 550 I used to be sub 550 and then I stopped solving 7x7 seven seven for a while and then I went back up to like 630 so I'm trying to get back down to sub 550 and then for 3x3, three three, I want to be sub 17 in the next month. I am sub 18 currently right now, and I feel like I've improved a lot on 3x3 three three lately. But I want to be sub 17. So I'm going to work on my F2L and look ahead, as well as starting to learn full OLL. So some videos that I have to come are unboxings, hopefully. I'm planning on making a cube order soon, so I will have an unboxing for that. And then I am planning on coming out with the reviews on the Mini Shangsha 7x7, as well as the Fangxi and possibly the Guhong version 2. But there's a lot of reviews on the Guhong version 2 because it's been out for a while. So I may or may not make that. Mine is a modded Guhong version 2, but I don't really know if that makes a difference. So my second solve was a 135. So what kind of videos do you want do you want to see? Because I make the videos for you guys, and because I like making videos, I think it's fun. So, please leave in the comment section what videos you would like to see, because more than likely I will make them, because I just graduated, so it's summer now. I graduated from middle school. It was so hard. Just kidding, it wasn't really that hard. Middle school is easy to me, but, um, yeah, so I just graduated, so I'll have plenty of time to make videos over the summer. So just leave in the comment section what videos you want to see. And then uh, the last thing I really have to talk about today is that I got a new 3x3 personal best average as well as a personal best solve. My previous personal best solve was 1235 and I got it on Twist the Web 
I don't know if anybody was on Twisted Web with me when I got that, but I it was a one uh, 1235, and my new personal best is 1222, so really not that big of a dif difference, but it's still nice to always get that new personal best. And then my new personal best average is 16.06, and my previous personal best was in the 17s. I don't know the exact personal best, but it was in the 17s, so I've jumped about a second lower, which I think is pretty impressive. So that's pretty much all I have to talk about in this video. I hope you liked this video. It's a pretty good meme for me. So if you have any questions on the method I use, you can ask in the comment section, or you can watch my walkthrough solve. So that is all I really have to talk about. This last solve was a 1 minute and 34 second solve. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. When I'm tired, I'm thinking cold. I hide in my music, forget the